What's up guys, this is Time Muffin bringing you a video about scheduling good practice in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now as many of you may all know, a lot of top players target unoptimal or bad practices, the lack of improvement in many players. I think what they're referring to is the type of player that flies around in practice mode like this. That's not to say that this isn't helpful in some way, in fact I think it's useful to some degree. If you don't play this game to be as optimal as possible then this is a great way to keep your tech semi decent as a competitor. You'll mess around like this and maybe find things along the way. Optimal is the key word of the day by the way. I've said it way too many times for it not to be. But if you really want to improve your play in every single facet, this is merely a good hand warmer really. Which I'm all good for. Hand warmers allow you to get your standard as soon as possible for the day. Now that we've pointed out what's found as bad practice and what kind of practice is good for someone not taking the game as seriously, let's talk about the complete opposite, a real competitor. Firstly, you need to understand that the term practice can't be lumped together as just tech practice and thinking you'll improve from that. I found this myself personally, that tech practice is just scratching the surface of what practice really is. Tech practice should be something that increases the consistency of a technique that you're already pretty familiar with, reminding your hands how to perform the technique, running various drills to do so. So the process goes something like this, analyse, research, learning, execution and implementation. Analyze means that you should be noting what you're looking to improve in your game. Weak shield pressure? That tells exactly what you should be doing in the next step, which is research. Research should be the time in which you check out smash boards or analyze a set to find things that you could use to help your game. Check out some frame data on like how shield stun works or what shield pressure by a top player like Mango in action to get an idea. Learning is the process in which you figure out how the technique works in game, all the timings and the most efficient way for yourself to execute it. Execution is something we've already discussed. This is the various tech skill drills that give your hands the muscle memory in order to perform these techniques. Implementation is the final step. This is where you start using said technique in game and seeing if you can perform it under pressure. This is the process you can use to improve with practice. Here's the schedule I like to follow for Fox. I've labelled different areas by importance and I think it's a good way to outline what I think is the most important for myself as a player. Along with that I have based things like how long each bit of practice takes and what's involved in it. I've broken down the general warm up section just below that for each day and I'll change each time I do it depending on my performance with it. For example you can see in my after practice notes that I decided I want to test my consistency with my current trials and ramp it up afterwards. I was always questioning and improving it based on my specific needs. It's very important that you cater this to yourself and not just copy mine, but I think this gives you a good template to begin with. Here you can see how I like to schedule my days. It normally switches between a day of tech skill and a day of warm up slash research. This doesn't mean it's only one of those each day, it's just what I focused on that day. I would think about the game and make sure I was playing a human in some way. I also kept a log of each day as best I could. It always allowed me to look at small things to improve on one at a time, which is one of the keys to improvement I think. This brings up another important thing you should note, at the low mid level, I think playing human opponents a lot will be the best form of practice for you most of the time. Unless you have a huge problem with tech skill then you should really be making sure you can do that first. A lot of the time I tend to ignore my schedule because I gain much much more from playing people and generally just you know thinking about the game. Here I just list some things I may want to go over during one of my research days. Anyway, this was just a short video of my experiences, opinions and practice. This may or may not work for you, but I hope this can maybe help you and find the best way for yourself to improve. Would you like to see more stuff like this? How does a uh, Falco training regime sound? Tell me in the comments below.